The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, Lord Christ. Jesus said, I am the Good Shepherd. The Good Shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand who is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away. And the wolf snatches them and scatters them. The hired hand runs away because the hired hand does not care for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own and my own know me, just as the Father knows me and I know the Father. And I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. I must bring them also, and they will listen to my voice. So there will be one flock, one shepherd. For this reason the Father loves me, because I lay down my life for other to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down of my own accord. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it up again. I have received this command from my Father. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. Or they've been hurt by religion, 
or feel abandoned by God? How many missed opportunities do we have each day to share Jesus and the love that he has for us? Bishop Curry tells us that we are in Galilee. We are in Galilee right here and right now. The people outside the walls of this church are Galilee. And we are no, it's no longer just about showing up to church on Sunday. We need to get outside the walls of our church and tell people about Jesus. Bring Jesus to them. To be Christ's arms and hands and voice, our church is no longer confined to these walls. It is everywhere. It is to anyone who's in need, to anyone who's hurting, to anyone who's alone, to anyone who has not found Christ. But let's face it, most of us who are living our faith in the Episcopal Church are not real comfortable with leaving the walls of this church and actively bringing people outside these walls to Jesus. And I get that. I was born in the Episcopal Church, and it's not in my DNA to feel comfortable going outside and doing that kind of ministry. But that's exactly what the gospel is calling us to do. And that is exactly what our bishop is calling us to do, whether we're comfortable or not. Many of us are uncomfortable talking to acquaintances about our faith because we don't want to sound pushy. We don't want to turn people off, and we're afraid that they'll judge us. But the truth is, if we can't get past our own insecurities and push ourselves to that place of discomfort, and work through that discomfort, the work that we have been called to do will never get done. Each and every one of us is called as Christians to bring people to Jesus. We all have different ways of going about that and different gifts and how we will do this. But make no mistake, we are all called to take the risk to look each and every day for those little opportunities to share our wonderful Lord with people who may not know about him. To share our Lord with people who feel abandoned by God years ago. To share our Lord with people who need a friend, who are rejected or lonely or in pain. My 23-year-old daughter, Jenny, is married with a baby and her husband is serving in Afghanistan. Jenny and I had an opportunity this past month to spend quite a bit of time together. And at one point she began talking about her career selling Mary Kay cosmetics. Jenny knows so much about her products that she sells and she deeply believes that these products are the best available for women to use every day. She is young, she is beautiful, she dresses professionally, and she wears her makeup beautifully. She has goals mapped out how she's going to move up in the company, and she actively is involved in meetings and seminars and conferences that provide training and support on how to grow her business. But Jenny is afraid. Jenny is afraid each and every time that she has an opportunity to tell an acquaintance about her products. She does a great job when people call her and want to know more. She does a great job when she's asked to present it to a group of women but she is scared to death to talk to people outside of those safe places about her products. Jenny needs to find a way to move out of her comfort zone if she's going to be truly successful and if she's going to reach all of her goals. She's going to have to find a way to say to a stranger who compliments her appearance or the perfume that she's wearing, I would love to share my products with you and spend some time getting to know if these products would be something you're interested in. But unless Jenny can push herself outside that comfort zone, where she is genuinely can share her enthusiasm without being pushy, she will never be successful. Now, y'all probably know where I'm going with this. As Episcopalians, we are traditionally not comfortable talking to our acquaintances about our faith. We're uncomfortable, we're scared, we may be facing rejection and judgment. But that is what we are being called to do. 
to take that risk, to look each and every day for those little opportunities to share our wonderful Lord with people who may not know him, to share our Lord with the people that he has, who feel that he has abandoned them years ago, to share our Lord with people who need a friend, who are lonely or in pain. We are in Galilee. There are thousands of people outside the doors that need to know Jesus, our Good Shepherd. It is us, up to us to take our own spiritual journey now, to overcome our fears and discomforts that prevent us from sharing Jesus with those who don't know him. We all need God, and we all deserve the opportunity to know Jesus. So there will be one flock, one shepherd, one God and Father of all. In the words of my friend's precious son, all we have to do is tell people about Jesus. And that, my friends, is the most important work that we will ever do in our lives.